it's happening in New York, New Jersey, or Long Island. Hear about it with Joe Piscopo. Mornings, 6 to 10 on AM 970. The Answer. Mike, great to have you with us this morning. Good morning, good morning. Are you still in Tampa, Michael? No, sir. Good morning. Greetings from the city of brotherly love. I'm in Philadelphia. Look at you. Yeah, we're going. And then tomorrow's Chicago. No, tomorrow's Dallas. And then Friday's Chicago. So this is like a road trip. We got to pack this thing up. We ought to have you with us doing a little musical inter- interludes. No, and I I'm be- the I'm the black sheep of Salem. They'll never ask me to do you don't anything. Do this. You're the big trust star. Me. Trust me, trust me. <laughs> Listen, if you saw me five minutes ago with my buddy Sean, uh, we're on uh, hands and knees on the floor plugging in printers. We're in a conference. With Sean room Hannity, you with Sean Hannity plugging in things like no, that? Yeah, Sean Hannity. I got Sean Hannity <laughs> down there plugging in cables. I mean, uh, <laughs> you're so funny. Hey, well, are you Listen, in? Uh, are you in the old studios of WFIL as I speak? I'm actually in the conference room of a Marriott. Wow! And you'd last about five minutes. <laughs> One, f- five minutes. Frankie Five Burrows, he'd be blowing up. He'd be saying, "Are you kidding me? The printer doesn't work." Oh. And that, and we're, but we're streaming. We got it all ready to go. When we hit the air today at 10:05, when you've had enough, yeah. When you say goodbye today for yeah. for a Tuesday, yeah. we'll be ready to hit the airwaves. We'll hit the ground running. And man, is there so much to talk about! I know. I know. Two huge, glaring stories that are making me so happy. The Washington Post and the guy who many believe is really the kind of the godfather or the 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 dean of political writers, Dan Balls, and I've interviewed him a couple of times mm-hmm. at various conventions, uh-huh. and he writes that in the House, which is the big question mark in the, the the battleground House districts, he says right now Democrats hold a st- statistically insignificant lead over Republicans. It is neck and neck. The, a brand new shock poll, Washington Post, my friends, mm. 50% currently supporting the Democratic candidate oh, in their district, 48, 47% backing the Republican, and it's statistic, statistically insignificant. This is going to be down to the wire, and if these polls are correct, and Joe, if people show up, Republicans win. If we go to the polls, yeah. we're going to win. And when you've got this image of thousands of migrants, thousands of illegals who want to who want to cross the border, mm. um, it's it's like it's this is the October surprise. The migrants from Honduras and El Salvador, that's the October surprise. Only yeah. it's not a surprise that the Democrats thought it would be for their adva- to their advantage. Americans are are sick of this. Let me ask you a question. You're such a good and decent and big-hearted guy, oh. and I know oh. you come from that world of entertainment, and you 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 continue to keep the balls all in the air. You've got the plates all juggling at the yeah, same time, trying. and you do it with you do it with graciousness and oh. kindness, and you know how much I admire you and respect <laughs> uh. you. So I want to pick your brain a little bit. Okay. You see all the video of these migrants. Yeah. I, I, I don't know about you. I'm not seeing a lot of little children and no. a lot of little old no. ladies. I, I see a lot of young, able-bodied men. Now, am I am I making that no. up, Joe Piscopo? No, no, you're absolutely right, Mike Gallagher. And I'll tell you, I'll tell you why. When and I said this from day one, and I I always take the way I always tell you about you and I were the only ones when yep. when candidate Trump was out there, and you stopped me in the hall. That story I tell time and time again. You yep. said he's going to win, and I said I know he's going to. You just feel it. You so know, you it's an instinct. It. We both talked about. Yep. It. We had that low. We would go in the hallway. We kind of give us that each other. <laughs> that look like we know what's coming but nobody else does we were like in on a secret that nobody knew you know we didn't even say hey mike how you doing how was your day you, you just kind of just, just said he's gonna win he's gonna win it was great it was like a it's like a little club that we're but i have to tell you as soon as i saw this break as soon as the kavanaugh thing went away the the democrats uh panicked that i don't know how the only question i don't have the answer to is how do they mobilize? But what they did, they did mobilize this. And I said, I said on the radio that it was it's a concerted effort because it's timed perfectly for when? The midterms. It's the midterms. timed perfectly because now what, the, what President Trump's going to do is he's going to get the military down there. They're, oh, look at this bad guy. Oh, they're separating families. Oh, they're using tanks again. I'm telling you, it was. it's all made up. It's all you made up. But you couldn't script the timing of it better. You are oh, so right. Oh. It's like, because one of the worries, that's what I said over and over, are we going to have too much time between the end of the Kavanaugh confirmation yes. and the midterm election. And then along comes these migrants and thousands and thousands of people trying to storm into the border. There's a, You want an article that's going to make your day, Pierce Morgan. He writes a piece for the Daily Mail, how the media hates him, Hollywood hates him, but every hysterical piece of abuse they throw at him just makes him stronger. Yeah. Just makes him stronger. And yeah. the Democrats, Pierce Morgan, 
uh, a search are headed for a midterm disaster. And, it, and make no mistake, there's no reason the Democrats should lose in the midterms. I mean, every t- in history. Well, historically, yeah, right. Historically. Yep, but, yep. This is, but throw the history books out the window. I'm back to playing that Michael Moore clip. I had a caller suggest that I do this yesterday. I'm playing it every day because his speech, and he hates it. Michael Moore <laughs> hates that speech that he gave as part of a documentary, yeah. all the reasons why people are going to elect Donald Trump and, uh, Trump and why he's going to win. You know what? It, it It's aged beautifully. It holds up fine for the midterms. It's the same thing. It's the same message. So I'm playing it every single day up until the midterm election because I think it motivates people and it puts things in perspective. Um, and Pierce Morgan, I love the way he words this. Let me quote, if you don't mind, from his great article yeah, in the please. Daily Mail. I see a president who's growing stronger by the day. Trump's become a political Godzilla, crushing everyone who (laughs) dares challenge him and bulldozing his way through an agenda that is beginning to pay real dividends. And then, Joe, he goes on to all the judges, the economy, slashing taxes, North Korea, Trans-Pacific Partnership, Mexico and Canada to update NAFTA. This this is never reported in the mainstream media. I, I, I'm in the I'm in the hotel room this morning watching the stories to the stories about Trump's rally mm. last night, which yeah. was thousands and thousands yeah. of excited people yeah. in yeah. Houston, and the migrant story. Right, I, ABC. Now I don't want to pick on ABC. They're so biased. I'm going to play both reports on my show today, beginning at 10 o'clock, because. First of all, in the rally, Cecilia Varga, her, her take was, well, he just lies. He gets up there and lies, and he tells things that aren't true, and he says, look for the MS-13 gang members. That's just not true. Oh, really? He said to the reporters yesterday, go into these groups of migrants right. and see, if you, see who you find. Have they done that? No. So Cecilia Vega didn't say, well, we did that, or whatever her name is. We we did that, and we can find no evidence of any gang members. No. They just call him a liar without substantiating it. And then, of course, the store, and then, of course, they show the families, and there's a couple of the the, the children, and we're so sorry. And and, and one of the reporters, I saw him, literally was helping a lady who was dehydrated. (laughs) He carried her, man. He carried (laughs) her. I don't mean to make light of it, because they're going through hell. They are, but 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 the but the bias is unbelievable. I know. I know. The report, let me help her care. Let me step away from my makeup table here and let me carry her <laughs> to get some water. Just happened to fate you? while the camera was yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. Can you oh, fade I don't now, mean to be mean. Wait, we got no. I know, <laughs> yeah, yeah. and you're right there. And there are wretched people who are in misery and agony. We get it, Joe. We don't want to. I don't want to have a lack of yeah, compassion. Yeah, yeah. But doggone it, there's also bad people in this bunch, yep. and Trump knows it, and yep. every American knows it, and if. By the grace of God, enough Americans wake up. We're going to hold the House and the Senate in, t- in, in, in two weeks from today, and we're going to keep making America great. We're in a historic and time, Mike. We, we, are. we, we really are. History. And this I love it. the way you embrace it, Mike Gallagher. We, we, we you love too, you, man, too. from Philadelphia, the city of brotherly love. Fight and pray. Fight and pray. Yeah. Two weeks from today. Uh, uh, all right, Mike. Love thank you. Guys. Thank Love you, Take too, care. Mike. Uh, 10 05 with the great Mike Gallagher on AM 970 The Answer. Everybody knows this guy. No, everybody knows he can do a radio show. Joe Piscopo. Mornings, 6 to 10 on AM 970. The Answer.